the U.S. Air Force has made vital progress in fully certifying its F-35A for the nuclear strike role with the new B-6112 nuclear bomb. Flight tests of the jet carrying the weapon were completed recently. The full weapon system demonstration, the first for the Joint Strike Fighter in the nuclear strike configuration, involved two Air Force F-35A, each dropping a single unarmed B-6112 joint test assemblies over the Tonopah test range in Nevada. Viewers may note that the F-35A is the conventional takeoff and landing CTOL variant. The service, in a statement, stated that it was the most representative B-6112 test asset from an operationally representative F-35A. As per the F-35 Joint Program Office, the latest tests involved high-fidelity non-nuclear Mach B-6112s, and each weapon was dropped at a different altitude and speed. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how F-35 is getting ready for nuclear strike roll. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account. The B-6112 is a cooperative effort between the Air Force and NNSA, or National Nuclear Security Administration. The Air Force is responsible for acquiring the Boeing-designed, GPS-assisted, Inertial Navigation System INS, directed tail kit. The kit has tail fins to control the bomb's downward descent and will enable it to dive down on the target with high accuracy. The bomb also uses rockets in the main body to spin-stabilize it in flight and improve its accuracy. National Nuclear Security Administration is responsible for developing the bomb's main assembly and integrating the actual nuclear warhead on live weapons. The U.S. military expects the B-6112, also known as the B-61 Mod-12, to replace all existing versions of B-61 that include the B-61-3, 4, 7, and 11 in the active stockpile. The bomb's exact power remains classified. Some reports indicate the warhead will have a maximum yield of approximately 50 kilotons. To give viewers a perspective, here's a comparison. Trinity test in New Mexico in July 1945, which ushered in the nuclear age, had a yield of 20 kilotons. Hiroshima's Little Boy bomb had a yield of 13 to 18 kilotons whereas Nagasaki's Fat Man bomb had a yield of 20 to 22 kilotons of TNT. B-6112 is expected to have a dial-a-yield capability, which can limit the extent of the nuclear reaction inside the warhead to lower the explosive force. This way, a B-61 Mod-12 will be able to replace different bombs that have predefined explosive yields. The B-61 Mod-12 will also replace the B-61-11 Bunker Buster variant. In 2014, former U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff General Norton Schwartz, speaking at an event in the Stimson Center think tank in Washington, D.C., suggested that the guidance kit on the B-61-12 
will enable it to destroy hardened underground targets without any specialized bunker busting variant as the blast's impact will be very focused due to the high accuracy. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is a single-seat, single-engine, all-weather, stealth, multi-role fighter. The fighter aircraft are expected to remain in service beyond 2050. F-35 is a fifth-generation fighter that has been developed from the inception to be stealthy. Its external structure is designed to deflect signals away from the emitting radar which makes it hard to detect or track. This is done by having no sharp edges or protruding elements and having a smooth external curvature. The fighter also has excellent thermal management to reduce detection through IR sensors. The development is particularly significant since the F-35A will carry the B-6112 internally which will not compromise the stealth characteristics of the fighter. As per reports, the F-35A will be able to drop the B-6112 at supersonic speed. It's to be noted that certain F-35A units will be designated for the nuclear mission. A total of 400 B-61 Mod 12 are expected to be developed. Apart from B-2 bombers, the bombs will be integrated into dual-purpose combat jets such as the F-16 and F-15 Strike Eagle. The U.S. Air Force also plans to integrate the B-6112 on the future B-21 Raider bomber that will replace B-2. While several kinds of new missiles, including hypersonic ones, are being developed for the bomber fleet some of which will be nuclear capable. The advantage of B-6112 is that more of these can be carried by an aircraft and hence more targets could be neutralized in a single sortie. The bombers, as well as any smaller jets carrying the nuclear bombs, though being vulnerable to counterattacks, are an important part of America's nuclear triad since this option offers much better flexibility. Bombers and fighters can shift target or abort missions entirely, even at the very last stage when compared to missile-armed planes or sea or ground-launched crews or ballistic missiles. Being stealthy, B-35 will be hard to detect and can penetrate well-defended airspace. The service has said in the past that the F-35A could start carrying the bombs operationally by 2022. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.